So I'm going to make a video that's kind of different from any other video I've ever made before. And before I get started, I'm just going to warn everybody who's watching this that this video is about um, vaginas and periods, feminine hygiene products, all that stuff. So if that's something that bothers you, you should probably go. Um, so I guess it was over the last, over the weekend, I came across a video about something called a ruby cup and it's a menstrual cup, um, which is basically a reusable silicone cup. I wish I had it to show you. It's actually in spite of me right now. Um, it looks, actually they don't show you on the box. Um, this is what the box looks like for the Diva Cup, by the way, which is the cup that I have, um, that I purchased. Um, but getting back to the Ruby Cup is basically a good company that for every single one that you buy online, they donate one to a girl in Kenya. And for those of you who don't know, um, but every girl in Kenya misses about 20% of their school year because of their periods. Um, because of the fact that they don't have adequate access to feminine hygiene products. So this company donates them um, to the girls there and teaches them how to use them, etc., etc. So this is the one that I bought. Um, I researched the hell out of this. Um, I've been watching videos on YouTube galore. Um, I actually came across a channel by somebody by the name of Precious Stars Pads. Um, her name is Bree. She's only 16. She's amazing because she's just so eloquent and so mature for her age. And she talks about her period like it's nothing. And I feel that it's really good for young women. Um, it's something that, or anybody who menstruates, I should say, um, so that they can um, learn that it's it's not gross, it's not disgusting. Um, anybody with a uterus bleeds once a month. So anyway, um, this is the one that's readily available in Canada and it comes in two different sizes. This is size one. It tells you on the side in case you are confused. Um, size one is for women under 30 years who have never delivered vaginally or by C-section. And then number two is for women over 30 years old and or for women who have delivered vaginally or by C-section. By all means, once you're over 30, even if you haven't given birth like myself, um, you may want to use the bigger size because your hips widen and your muscles tend to lose their elasticity. Um, I don't have that issue with um, any elasticity problems, so I got this size plus, um, I don't know, I just felt that it would fit me better. Um, I'm not going to lie, I was actually really, really scared about how it would work for me. And it is very intimidating. It doesn't look intimidating. Um, I wish I had a picture or something to show you what it kind of looks like because they don't really show you. I mean, other than I'm trying to see if I have the instructions somewhere. I seem to have lost the instructions. They're probably in the bathroom. But um, in that diagram right there, it kind of, well, you can't see. But basically, it's a bell-shaped cup, and it fits inside your vagina, and it collects your menstrual fluid. Um, it sounds gross, but it's actually supposed to be a lot better for you than using tampons um, because tampons can lead to toxic shock syndrome. I've never had an issue with that, but for those of you who are concerned with that, um, the other thing is that it's better for the environment. You're not throwing a bunch of stuff away or flushing things down the toilet. Um, the only thing you flush down the toilet is the blood when you empty it. So essentially, you take this cup and there's many different ways that you can fold it. Um, you can look all of that up on YouTube. There's a C fold, punch down fold, seven fold, triangle fold, origami fold. Um, you basically can find out which one would work for you. 
Um, I tried to do a dry run with my cup because I was really nervous about how it would feel being in there. Not that you can really feel it. Um, don't do that. It's not probably not a good idea. It's probably better to wait until you're actually on your period. I mean, a lot of people, when you're trying tampons for the first time, you know, that's what you usually do is you wait till you're actually bleeding and then try them out. And for anybody who ever had difficulty with tampons, this is like learning that all over again. Um, I am still very confused. I still am not sure if I'm doing it right. Um, I'm super paranoid about it leaking because it can leak if it doesn't open all the way inside of you. Um, so yeah, my difficulties today were when I first put it in in the morning, um, this being my first day of my, of my period, I wasn't sure if it was in all the way. From everything I've read, you can like run your finger around the edge just to make sure and feel that it's expanded inside of you. Um, they also say that you can grab the bottom and, and twist it. The bottom has ribs on it for what I'm about to tell you after. Um, but you can feel the bottom and you're supposed to try and turn it 360 degrees to make sure it has a solid seal. I can't really reach. I mean, I don't know if it's because I'm a, I'm a big girl or, or what, but I have a hard time fitting my whole hand in there. Maybe the bigger size would be better for me. I, I just, I don't know. Um, but there's that, um, trying to get it out after is a little bit difficult too. Um, they suggest that you, uh, bear down with your muscles, like you're going number two and then grab the base and kind of work it out. It's yeah. And you're dealing with blood. So if you're kind of squicky about that, if you're a little squeamish, um, it may not be for you, but I mean, my experience so far has been okay. It's, I'm still a little like, I understand that there's a learning curve, but at the same time, I'm really impatient when it comes to that kind of thing. I want to know how to do it and I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. But I don't know. It, it's, you can wear this for 12 hours. So I think that's pretty good because the whole taking it out and putting it in is kind of hard to do in a public bathroom. I tried to do it at work today and it was quite messy and it took a long time. So for me, I think I'm just going to try and do this at home most of the time, the cleaning. Um, I'm not really going to answer too many questions about it unless people want me to. I feel this is a really long video already. So if you have any questions, I will answer them in the comments or if need be, I will just make another video. And with that being said, I'm done. Um, bye.